Say something funny. Something funny. I don't know how to tell jokes. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? Can't look at me now. My name is Shakia Jessup. I'm 32 years old. I went to Hopkinsville High School, graduated in 2008. Some of the things that I enjoy doing, I love going out with my friends from time to time, the few that I do have. <laughs> I like doing, I like spending time with my mother. I like coming to the studio. Sometimes it's my getaway time if the kids aren't getting on my nerves. And I like singing around the house. Dancing, of course, because I am a dance coach. And I like spending, I do like spending quality time with my best friend, Shannon. As far as my occupation, I am a dance coach at Christian County High School. Dance team, I have 10 to 11 young ladies from 9th and 12th grade who I truly have built a relationship with. I truly do love them. My other job, of course, is I'm the director of Exclusive Dynamic Dance Company, where I have a team of 73 young ladies here in the community, which are called the Exclusive Kentucky Dance Team. You all just seen that's when exclusive KDD initially started. Me and my best friend Shannon Corner decided to start a team of 10 girls on Twilight Square. So we decided to come together and put a, a group of young ladies together to dance for the community. That is where we started. This is where the girls started with their first initial tryout at Belmont Elementary School. We came together and we did a tryout inside of the cafeteria. It was like 14 girls and then 10 girls who made it. This is the place that Azaria started out with officially KDD. This is the Westside Park over here by the courthouse the third practice. Whether it was hot, raining, snow, they didn't mind coming out here to practice in the grass at the park. I made the decision to start this business nine years ago with my best friend, Shannon. We were sitting in the living room at my house and we were watching the Dancing Dolls on television. So I made the decision to go forth and say, hey, let's do something different here in the community in Hopkinsville. Well, I was officially, you know, starting with praise dancing. My mother started me off when I was eight. And then I've decided to step when I got in high school. Well, after graduating from high school, I made the decision to be a step coach. I volunteered at Hopkinsville High School for two years. And then I met Carrie Kewell which I decided to go forth at Christian County High and Middle to coach over there. So I, after, you know, deciding from all that, me and Shannon made the decision to go forth and try to do something different here in the community. Due to the kids not praise dancing, because I cannot make kids praise dance anymore, I just wanted to bring them closer, you know, back to me, keep them off of the streets, keep them occupied doing other things here in the community. So we make the decision to go forth and do the KDD, which is the Kentucky Dancing Divas. And that's how we went from there. This is the fourth place that the girls practice at. We didn't practice outside. We practice inside the facility at the Walnut Street Center, where now it's called the Boys and Girls Club here in 
Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Around that time, we had about 25 girls come in to practice here on certain weekdays or performances with <clears throat> Darnell Wills. He hosted different basketball events. Kind of helped us get out more in the community. When we decided to practice at the Wall Street Center, I was still coaching step team for Hopkinsville High School voluntarily. Then I decided to quit and focus more on KDD. And then that's when I met Carrie Kewell. We was the Christian County Middle School step team coaches and it was something that she wanted to instill in me and go forth and do other things as far as for the girls. We built a great relationship with each other. There's a lot of things that she taught me and there's a lot of things that I taught her and even though she was older than me, we still had a good time around each other. A lot of people may think that they know your certain story but they don't really know your story until they really sit down and talk to you one on one to figure out things that you go through physically, mentally financially, spiritually, emotionally. So in the process of me doing exclusive KDD, before it was exclusive, that was K Kentucky Dance Divas, people did not know the sacrifices that I had to make, the decisions that I had to make, and the things that I had to go through of what people were going to think of me being that I was a PK kid. I had to make a decision whether it be praise dance or whether it be KDD. And that's kind of rough coming from a family of ministers and preachers and me being a PK kid. So in the process of me going through this process, the only reason why I decided to make the decision that I chose to make is because nowadays you cannot make young kids praise dance. Praise dance is not only a passion or a gift, but it has to come from the heart. And if it doesn't come from the heart, I don't want to make a child do something that they do not want to do. Anything to keep the group of young ladies together, that's what I'm all well, that's what I'm aiming for. As far as keeping them off the streets from drugs, sex or anything, you know, dealing with things that they're not supposed to be doing or dealing with. I wanted to keep them around me. It was definitely a terrible and rough decision for me, but once I made the decision, I was okay with it. I had to deal with people saying, oh, you turned against God, or oh, you are devil worshiper. Everyone is going to be entitled to their own opinions, and I'm okay with that, but until you know what someone went through, stop judging people from the outside looking at you. But of course we had a lot of issues with the community because a lot of com the people in the community did not support us or the exclusive Kentucky Dancing Divas. Before we were exclusive, we were just Kentucky Dancing Divas. So we did not have the support that was needed, but now we have support. I do feel that some parents are against it, and some parents aren't. Some people are like it, and some people some people don't, which is totally fine. I do think that people get misunderstood as far as bucking and twerking. Twerking is a different form of hands and knees versus a buck is high up. Something they will learn in the HBCU world if they decide to attend college. Who are the closest people who inspired you? I did meet a parent by the name of Shakia Wilson. Shakia Wilson did pass last year on me, August the 25th. Her and Kiana was the main two who basically stood by my side, who I could turn to for anything, whether it had been in the middle of the night or day-to-day -day base, like they rocked the whole thing out with me, you know, from beginning to end. It's been kind of it's been kind of rocky and rough due to the fact that Kia's not here. She did play a huge part in KDD. She ordered all my uniform. She made sure I was straight. She made sure the girls were straight. She even we had a good relationship, like loyalty wise, and she didn't mind doing things as far as dealing with accounts, any of those things, you know, it's hard dealing with people nowadays or try to find people that you truly trust. 
But I have prayed and trying to push myself to keep going because I still have her two daughters and I'm still trying to be here for them as well, you know, to keep them focused, to keep them also to keep going. My mother has always, she's always been on my side. But my mama has inspired me in so many ways. I watch her from day to day, based day to day life. And my parents are ministers as well as my brother. And we grew up in church, so we know who God is. And when you have parents who raise you upright, it's your decision, you know, once you get grown, of the choices that you, you know, you choose to make. And one thing I can truly say is my mom has always, always been, my, been by my side. I always looked, look at her as like more so of a friend. I truly thank God for a mother like her because a lot of my friends love her as a mother as well. So I was not supposed to cry. When my mom got married to my dad, I knew instantly that, you know, he made her smile, he made her happy. It was kind of rough for me because I didn't want to share her because <laughs> I was the spoiled little brat that everyone says I was and my brother said I was spoiled too. When she married Lucius Pierce, he kind of came into our life. I looked at him as if he was like an angel, you know, from God. I've always wanted to have a father in my life. And even though my biological father has not been here, Lucius stepped in and played a huge role. It was times where I would sit at the door waiting on my biological dad to pick me up and he never came. And then it was a lot of times where I wanted my dad in my life, but I never knew where he was at or he would always tell me he'd come in. He fulfilled all the duties a father could ever fulfilled. Losing him has been the hardest thing for me because he looked at me and he took his last breath. But I got to spend quality time with him from January on up to watching when he did originally pass. But it's like a daughter's well, a father's love is, you know, unconditional. So it's really rough to lose somebody who's been in your life over 20 years, almost. He has inspired me so much because he's always motivated me. He's always called and he's always told me, you know, you have to learn how to encourage self. You have to learn how to keep going. You have to learn how to not let parents stress you out or get on your nerves. or. Everything that I've, you know, hosted or when it's time for competitions, he shoots me a text or he calls me or he say, hey, you got this or do you need me and your mama or he was always there and it's been so hard to me to figure out where do I go from here. I do have parents that inspire me and they are a huge impact on my life and even though he, with him being gone, I know he's super proud of me. Those are my main three people who, you know, motivate me, impact me, and of course, Zaria as well. I never forget about her. She was like the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm finally here at the studio, you know, studio and I do thank God for putting me in this position because I always told myself I wanted a dance studio by the age of 26. Regardless of how I started, I'm still making it and I'm still here and it's only by the grace of God. So I don't take it lightly and I don't take it for granted because I could be doing something else and my kids could be doing something else too. But I know he has a purpose and a plan for me. So this is what it comes with. And I'm just ready to see what God has not only in store for me, but for my kids, my kids' parents as well. Because, you know, we are, we're a family. We have to learn how to build each other up. Uh, we got to learn how to stick together as a team, stick together as a family. So today you all are going to be excited to see the girls come out, different levels, different ages, to hit the floor. They are more than excited. They have been working extremely hard. I hope you all enjoy the show. Let's get it.